Hello everybody, Corey here. Uh, a couple of months ago, I did a video with the days to recovery. Basically, you know, how many days does it take for the uh, ETF to recover from its distribution? Um, and of course, that's just if it does, right? And uh, I was going to add this to the monthly videos, and then I actually didn't even do the monthly video for this last month. And uh, so I just decided to do this separately to get this done, because I do know that I have one specific person out there that has been requesting this. And uh, I wanted to make sure I got it out there for him. I assume it's a him, so I apologize if not. Uh, but anyway, I just got finished updating this. Um, I do have a few issues at the bottom where, oh my goodness, it actually came through on my iPad, but it's not coming through on the computer, so that's awesome. Um, well, it's coming through for the previous months on here, but it's still not coming through uh, for the month of June for me to know whether to color this basically green or a red month. Um, but... Because this is up and, and I can't see it on my computer. I want to hard type these in here. So for the past ones, right, that I don't have the issue. Um, okay, I think we have that now. I don't know if that was 0.4 before or not, so let me check real quick. I apologize. I just, uh, okay, I guess it was. For some reason, um, it doesn't want to work properly for me. And it's weird, right, because you can see it here on the screen because I'm recording, but I'm looking at my computer and it's not there. So we still have the NAs here. Um, I don't know why it wants to, you know, be so crazy here. But anyway, it's not going to, you know, affect any of the data at the top. It's just nice to know, was it, you know, a green month or red month or whatever and it just helps us you know narrow the data down just a little bit but we'll just go ahead because this happens a lot I'll wait to do stuff and then I end up not doing it waiting for the data to load um I hope y'all can see this I don't know if I should do this like split screen here but I was trying to do it so we could see everything on one screen um but Let's look at this, especially for those that maybe haven't looked at this before. Um, of course, we go all the way back to 2023 to the first distribution of OARC and Tesla, uh, January 2023 there, all the way through uh, June here. And if you're looking at the days within these columns, B to S, these are the day, the day that it recovered from its distribution. Now, what that means on that day, it recovered from the, that month's distribution. However, that doesn't mean that it stayed recovered. Okay. So, um, I did think about doing a second one to see, you know, which ones actually stay recovered, uh, at, by the end of the month. I haven't done that. If you want me to do that, just let me know. Uh, that wouldn't be too hard to do because I could just duplicate this sheet and then just update the days. Um, but this is just to show, you know, when they initially recovered, this is the day that it happened in that pay period, in that cycle. So basically green means it recovered within one to five days. So we have numbers and we have colors, right? I always, I love colors. Um, one to five is green, and then we have six to ten is yellow, and then above ten is red, with the exception of those that did not recover at all. They are gray, and those number is just 
the number there is just the number of days that was total in the period. And the reason for actually entering that number in there is because we use an average later on to look at some things. And leaving that blank actually makes it look like, oh, it recovered in zero days. So it actually makes it look better. Therefore, the only way I could think to mitigate that was to actually put in the number of days total. So we can also see that on line three. Let's see. So, line three here at the top you can see the number of days across so this was a short month if we're looking at the month of june so we did only have 19 days um you know some of these may have been able to uh recover in the next couple of days looking at them uh but again we have um we had a couple of holidays here so um it's made it and then of course june itself is a short month already um, but let's see, I've added all of the tickers here. So we've updated that even though, you know, some of these have not paid out yet. So we have three of those. And then the new thing that I added, cause I was curious is down here at the bottom on line 29. I did this just a minute ago and basically it's just to look at, you know, how many actually recovered in that month. So of course here at the beginning, um, you know, when we didn't have a lot, it's, you know, it's not really good data, but when we start getting here, you know, when we had, you know, like this month, it looks like October, 2023, we had a lot come out there. So and then we of course start increasing from there. Uh, but you can see here in October, we were 92% of them recovered. All of them recovered but one, which was Tesla. And then we went in November 88, December 88. Uh, January was 67. I remember January being a bad month. And then we have 72% for February, March. And then look at April. Only 32% of the ETFs actually recovered. Um, then we go into the month of March with only 63, which is like the next worst if we're looking through here. And then we go into June that only 38% recovered. So these last three months have not been good, especially May and June. They've been the worst months uh, for these Yield Max ETFs as far as them recovering from their distribution. And uh, the month of May here, 63% was still worse than all the rest of them if we look at March and, you know, uh, from that October to March time frame. Um, so I was just, you know, curious. And of course we can see that April was a red month here with that 32%. I don't know without this data, you know, actually filling in down there. I don't know where we were, um, as far as green or red, I'm going to guess green, but still, um, a lot of these did not recover. Um, so, again, you can look at the individual one uh, that you would like to. It's not really, um, you know, only 38% recovered. So, the only ones that recovered for the month of June. Of course, uh, I think I'd reported last in April, so I haven't reported May and June. But if we're just looking at June, aptly cover, recovered at four days. Phoebe recovered at 14 days. GUI, 13. JPMO, 17. Uh, MSFO 8, Nephli 9, NVIDIA 9, and Tesla at 7. And then the rest of them did not recover. Now, if you look in the next four columns, Z, AA, AB, and AC, now this is just to show you, okay, how many times did they recover within those green, yellow, red, and not recovery time frames. Um, so if you see AIYY, it's only recovered within five days one time. It's never recovered between six to ten days. Uh, 11 plus it's recovered once and then there's four months it hasn't recovered at all. So it's it's done six distributions in four months it did not recover. One, you know, was in the green and one in the red period. Um, so this is another way of looking at it. Uh, we could go down to GUI. GUI is recovered six times within the first five days, two times within the yellow period, six to ten days, one in the red period, which is 11 plus day, and one it did not recover 
at all. In fact, you can look down through here and see those that didn't recover at all. We don't have any zeros. We did have one that was doing good, and then uh, something happened uh, this month, last month, something like that. I don't remember which one it was now, and I can't see it just by looking at it here unless it was JPMO, but that was a couple of months ago that uh, it had one. But if we look, uh, as far as those that didn't recover, if we look at just the one month, so GUI, you know, is recovered every month, except one, JPMO, um, yeah, and then, of course, we have well, I've been crash. It's new down there. So, basically, GUI and JPMO have recovered every month with the exception of one. So, you know, you can just pause this and look at that data, but uh, I've done some percentages here as well that go along with these. Uh, and then they have their own color code. So if we go back to AIYY, we can see 17% of the time uh, it's been in that green period 1 to 5 or within the 11 to 18 days. And then uh, it's never been... Uh, in the yellow period, so it's 0%, so it's grayed out. But then the majority of the time, which is the green one here, uh, it's not recovered. It's in the NA column. Um, so obviously here, green does not mean good. Just green means the majority, right? And then, you know, the zero is like NA, so that's why it's gray. And then, of course, it has the yellow and red period, but both of these, they're both 17%, um, so they're both red. So if we go back down and look at GUI again, so you can see here uh, in the 1 to 5 range, it a, has a green 60% of the time. So 60% of the time it's recovering uh, within that 1 to 5 day period, and then 20% of the time in the 6 to 10 day period, and of course 10% of the time in the red or not at all period. Uh, just taking those numbers and making them into percentages at this point. And then, again, color co coding these on the majority. Uh, so if you look at MISTI, 67% of the time it's not recovering its distribution, which has only been three, so basically it's only recovered one time, and it was within that 6 to 10, 10 day range. And if we go down to OARC, 50% of the time, it's recovering its distribution. Of course, the last three months it hasn't, and it looks like it didn't three months towards um, the beginning there. Where's my little pointer? Here it is. Uh, these three months right here, it didn't recover. And then, of course, you can see these three months, last three months. In fact, several of these haven't done too great, which, you know, we haven't done great the last three months to begin with. Uh, but Coney and Dizzo uh, and OARC, they haven't recovered at all the last three months. And AMZ, okay, this was the one that had recovered every month, uh, and then it stopped in April, it had recovered every month. Um, but this one recovered on the last day, the 22nd day. Then the next two months, it didn't recover at all. But it was uh, recovering every month until... Uh, May. So anyway, this is just to let you look at the percentages. You can sort of glance at these color codes that Misty's not doing so well as recovery of the distribution. Uh, OARC and GUI are doing good as far as recovering within the first five days. Um, just glancing down through here, see if anything stands out at me. I don't guess there's anything else there. And then over here on the right-hand side um, is where we come into, you know, just another calculation, another thing to look at. So it has the number of months um, that it's had distributions, and um, then it calculates the number of days, and then it gives an average. So let's see. So it's summing up the days, um, let's say B to Y, so we don't have Y. So it's going here from all of the days. Of course, that first one doesn't have any, but it's summing those. So you can see 106 days for AIYY here. 
so it's paid six months. It's 106 days, so it's given us an average of about about 18 days to recover. Uh, of course, that's just an average. We can see it's been several months here, these 22. It's just this one month. It was four days, so it's bringing the average down uh, just a little bit. But that's just a, you know, just to give an average. And that's why I said we have to enter in those numbers. Because if not, you know, this those four months that it didn't recover, there would be zeros there. And it would be calculating only 23 days and six months. So it would make it look great when it didn't. So that's why we're putting in um, <laughs> the days there, uh, even if they didn't recover the max amount. So if we're just looking over here on the right hand side, again, these are color coded. Let me do that. These are color coded here on, of course, best to worst. So we can look at GUI is actually, you know, has that average of recovering at about seven days it's showing. So it's showing as being the best. And I should have a ranking system over here to make this easier. Um, let's see what I do have. Ooh, I got all kinds of stuff going on over here. I don't need, honestly, I don't even know what any of that is, but what I want to do, oh, I don't know what I just did, undo. I want to insert a column to the right, and let's make a, you know, I should probably just do this on my computer. It would make it a lot faster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we're going to add in a rank. We're going to start at the top. I'm trying to think. There it is. So we want to rank this comma based on all of these. And then we want to do an if error because some of them don't have numbers. I only like it because it makes the, yeah, the colors are a lot nicer. Hmm. Oh, I probably shouldn't have sorted that, huh? But I like things sorted. I'm going to look and see how this, uh, how this is formatted real quick. Okay. Sorry, I should have done this or thought about this before or just waited. But I'm seeing it's ranked the opposite way as far as colors. All right, I just decided not to do the ranking. Um... And then, of course, I messed with the headers. Let me make them a little bit more evenly. The uh, top of it's sort of big. Let me show the whole screen here. So, back to looking at the ranking. For some reason, somehow, I guess, when I was messing around with this, I changed the colors here. Let me change them back on the rankings because that is actually wrong. Because, and I also I took the decimal away and made them whole days. So basically it's saying GUI takes seven day, about seven days on average to recover. Then we have 10 days. Um, let me look here on my computer. So MSFO is 10 days and NVIDI 10 days. I could try to sort it, but a while ago when I tried to sort it, um, it made it weird. Okay, yeah. We'll leave it like this, and then I'll put it back because I don't have the sort area correct, so some things didn't sort like I wanted. But anyway, you can see GUI at 7 days, NVD and MSFO at 10 and then at 11 days, we're looking at JPMO, Phoebe, AMZ, Dizzo, and OARC. 
Uh, of course, we have our worst, which is our brand newest, so they haven't been out long with YBIT and Crash uh, at 19 days. But then we have AIYY. Again, it's been out six months. It hasn't recovered four of them. Um, so it has an average of 18 days. And then Misty, um, it's only been out three months and has only recovered once. So 16-day average for that one. And then we have Tesla right there with a recovery at 14 days. And then we have the others at like 12 or 13. So this and just show you again, um, like an average, if you wanted to see that. Of course, you have different ways you can look at this. Uh, you know, these are just the different ways that I have thought about doing this or looking at it. So if you have an idea or something, feel free to share it now. Uh, I do have this data separate from the YMAG, YMAX, and Ulti because it is different with different days down at the bottom. Uh, of course, they haven't been out that long and we're not done really uh, yet. We haven't got the July distribution yet. We haven't gotten there um, to know whether we've recovered yet from June. And that's where I'm getting to where I'm thinking because I try to do a monthly video and then it's like, oh, I can't do this because I have to wait on this. And then I wait too long. And then it's like, oh, I need to wait again. And so I'm thinking I need to maybe start just doing it twice a month. That way I'm not, you know, trying to wait on one. So like now I can do um, all of the beginning. And then when the others happen, I could come back and do those um, versus me trying to wait. Uh, and that's for the, uh, this and all the other monthly video stuff too. So you can just let me know what you think about that. But you can see at the bottom if you haven't seen it before, uh, of course. And then we have May data now for the YMAG, YMAX, and Ulti. Uh, YMAX only recovered the first month. It hasn't recovered since. Ulti has not recovered. But YMAG has recovered every month. In fact, I don't have it here but I'm pretty sure YMAG recovered this month as well. So let me look real quick. Yes, so YMAG recovered uh, within 11 days. So I'll just go ahead and put that here. So YMAG has recovered um, every month. I don't know why these numbers are wrong though so i'm gonna get on the computer here and fix that because i guess maybe the 20 i think i did have it marked as red to, for me to come back and look at it um so i haven't so that would make that four i haven't updated these at the bottom clearly so that's three and three and what happened? No, I marked that. Oh, it should be zero. No. There we go. So, uh, YMAG is recovering every month. It's just most of the time it's taken it, you know, within that 11 uh, to 18 day range. The average range here over this on the side you can see is about 13 um, days. And then YMAX, we're currently at, you know, um, not recovering most of the time and ulti is definitely not recovering at all and uh, you can see those average days over on the right hand side so anyway that just gives you an update for all of these uh, yeah let me know what you think again this is something I played around with a couple of months ago and created and just found it interesting again it just gives you a different way to look at the data uh, Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed this and get something out of it. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.